Hello and welcome to Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video. Today we're going to talk about how to clear a system setting error on a Mitsubishi motion controller. The first thing you're going to see on the LED display after installing a Motion OS is the ALL01 error. This essentially means you're missing some key system settings that need to be established within the software. So in order to clear that error, let's dive into the motion software. You go to All Programs, MelSoft Application, MT Works 2, and then MT Developer 2. Now from here, I'm going to specify a new project. I'm going to select Q172D and then SV22. And here you'd select the OS that you previously installed. Now these are the basic settings. It's a good idea to go through these tabs and have an understanding of what's in each one of them. Um, most importantly, it's important to, to make sure that your multiple CPU settings are, are matching those in the PLC. Um, more details on memory sharing between multiple CPUs in a Mitsubishi system can be found in another Quick Tips video. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Now I, I'm immediately brought to the system structure. So we're dealing with a system setting error. So it's a very good idea to, to analyze the system structure and make sure that's correct. So if I double click on the servo network, the first thing I want to do is establish one at least one servo. And you can follow through the rest of the steps for however many servos you have. But once you establish the servo, you're going to want to go into the servo data setting. Now from the servo data setting, you're going to want to take a look at the servo data. So if I double click on this, this area, you can see where I would set all of my um, various unit settings, pulses per revolution, my travel per revolution. Keep in mind that pulses per revolution and travel per revolution relate to the load that's moving. For example, if you're on a ball screw and you specify uh, inches, inches here, the travel per revolution is, is for one revolution of the motor how far does your workpiece or how far does your actual um, ball screw move? It, this is after the gear. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. So I'm going to leave it on pulses just for now just to clear this error. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to specify that I want a instead of a proximity dog type, I'm going to specify that I want a data set type. This is, a, this is going to allow me to do homing without actually using the physical switches on the amplifier. So once you do that, it's a good idea to then go up to this little icon and do a relative check to make sure that you don't have any errors. You'll see down at the bottom, relative check end, error zero, warning zero. Okay, now the next thing you're going to want to do is write to your controller. So I go to write, C write to CPU, and I'm going to get a screen that then allows me to write. Now, uh, when you specify program memory, um, it's a good idea to, to click the parameter program button, but keep in mind the label structures require a memory card. So uncheck that, and then make sure you uncheck a bunch of this data that you're not downloading. Otherwise, uh, you'll get write uh, messages and it gets confusing. So uncheck cam data, uncheck mechanical system data, servo program. All you're concerned about right now are the system settings, the system set to clear the system setting error. So we're just going to write that. So I'm going to go ahead and execute. You're going to get a bunch of messages that come up that give you kind of some guidelines as far as what the controller, what the, what the uh, OS is supports for communication. I'm going to say OK, and then it's going to write. Once you've written, it's important then to reset the PLC by holding the run stop switch all the way over to the left. And then once it's reset, bring it back to run, and you'll be back online. Alternatively, you could turn the power off and then turn the power back on, and the system setting error should disappear. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for more Quick Tips videos.